Ready? One, two, three. You're good. I already started it. She already started it. <laughs> Before we do that, let's go ahead to the Lord in prayer. I want everybody to bow their heads and close their eyes. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this lesson. Lord, may it be something that would encourage us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, what is our lesson today? Zechariah the prophet. We've been talking about a lot of prophets. Sander, since you're here, come here, bud. Since you're already up here, in a big loud voice, tell the kids what a prophet does. Big loud voice, because I know you know the answer. Go ahead. Uh, How long do you think it was? 
Seven miles. How many years? How much time? A thousand. Years. How many years? How many years? Seventy. Seventy. We're right. I heard that. I was thinking that was six or seven. Are you? 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 Are you guys are a bunch of young kids. In 70 years, all of you are going to be old people. Everyone, you're going to be 79 years old. 79 years old. You'll be, what, 78, 79? 9, 79? How old are you? 7, you'll be 77 years old. 75 years old, you'll be an old man. How old are you now? Nine, you'll be 79. How old are you now? Eight, you'll be 78. How old will I be? I'll be dead. How old are you? 57. I'd be, a, I'd be 127 years old. Listen up, listen up guys, listen up, listen up. Imagine you get taken captive, you're taken prisoner when you're your age, and you don't get free until you're old. You're old men and old women, and you have kids, and you have grandkids. I have like this teacher, she's 80 years old, and she has a mom that I forgot how old is she, but she was like 2,000 something. Probably not. Probably not, since that's that would be back to when Jesus was alive on earth. Alright, listen up. When they came back, you see, the reason why they went into captivity in the first place is because they were disobedient. They were disobedient to God. God said, worship me and worship me only. And they said, we don't want to worship God. We don't want to worship God. They said, we want to worship our own idols. I need to talk to you. They said, we don't want to worship God. We want to do our own thing. Is this water bottle worth anything to be worshipped? Uh, 
sit in your seat the right way. Everybody look this way. Thank you. Everybody look this way. Have you done anything that you know did not please God? No talking. No talking. Have you done anything that displeased God? Have you done anything disobedient to God? You don't have to tell. God knows it already. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I'm sorry for what I did. And you got to mean it. Because if he knows if you don't mean it. Jesus, I'm sorry for what I did. Please make me right with God. Please forgive me of what I did. And he will. The Bible says he will. And God always keeps his promises. So I want you to do this as we close this morning, this afternoon. Now. I want everybody to bow your heads. And inside your heart, if there's anything that you've done that's displeased God, I want you to ask him to forgive you. you mean it in your hearts. I want him to ask, I want you to ask him to forgive you and to make you right with God. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for the forgiveness that comes uh, from Jesus. And Lord, every one of us has sinned. Every one of us has done wrong before you. Father, I, I pray that you would uh, put it on the hearts of each child here, that they would cry out to you and that they would confess their sins to you, that they would tell you what they've done and that they would that they would be sorry for their sins and ask you to forgive them. Lord, restore their fellowship with you. And we give you all the praise because you said that you would forgive us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.